Today, I put the entire Banana Boat crew on the Los Angeles Lakers in honor of Carmelo Anthony's retirement. It was unfortunate to see that Carmelo Anthony retired without winning a championship, and also, we didn't really know Melo had played his last game when he was with the Lakers. So today, we're going to be having a rivalry with the Boston Celtics to see if Carmelo Anthony and the Lakers with the Banana Boat crew can win a three-peat going up against that super team in Boston. And we got off to a great start early on, 3-0, and and by the All-Star break, we were absolutely cooking. Carmelo Anthony was an All-Star starter, so was LeBron James, and I mean, our guys were just doing their thing. Look at the numbers Melo was putting up. Melo was really a bucket in his prime, and even towards the end of his career, I feel like with the Lakers, he was still solid. I don't really know why he wasn't on the team this year. But this season we go 72 and 10, and it's Dwayne Wade who ends up winning the league MVP. Kind of surprising when you have LeBron and Melo on the team, but hey man, D Wade was hooping and Melo was all NBA first, so he was probably in those MVP conversations. LeBron was the all NBA second team. I'm recording this at halftime of the Lakers Nuggets game, and I'm not going to lie to y'all, man, I'm moved. I think that the Lakers could actually pull off this 3-0 comeback because Bron, he looks locked in. He look like he looks like he wants this so bad. Like, bro, he's been dialed in in the first half. But we're going to go ahead and cook the Nuggets, cook the Mavericks, cook all the teams, the Warriors on the way to the finals. This is what we're here for. We're here to see if Melo can win a 3 P. We're trying to give him the perfect career with his guys. We got Melo. We got Chris Paul. We got D-Wade. We got Bron. We even got Tristan Thompson and J.R. Smith on the roster, man. So we're going to see if these guys can do their thing. So far, Carmelo Anthony has been leading the team in scoring throughout the NBA playoffs. So he's been doing really well for the squad. And in game number one against the Boston Celtics, they proved to be no match. Man, they're looking like the Celtics against the Heat out there because they're getting absolutely cooked. We win by 34 points, and we're moving on to game number two with a 1-0 series lead. Melo drops 43 to set the tone for the series, and Paul Pierce with 25. That's not going to be enough against our guys. In game number two, we're going to go ahead and carry our momentum into that first quarter. But the Celtics, they've got a little bit more dog in them in this one. But unfortunately for them, we, we got even more dog than them. We go ahead and we win by nine points. Melo with a 30 ball. Brown was hooping. D-Wade was hooping. Our guys continue to hoop, man. It's basketball. You know, put the ball in the basket more than the other team and you win. And it looks like that's exactly what we're going to do in this series. We win in five. LeBron James gets a final. MVP. Going into the offseason, I have a little surprise for y'all. I turned off salary caps so that other teams could try to make super teams to compete with our squad, but this kind of just bolstered our team even more. We were able to pick up Spencer Dinwiddie and Brooke Lopez, and we also got Gary Trent Jr. So we were able to further just, you know, stack up the squad, man. So the team's looking really good heading into another season. A team to watch out for is, of course, the Boston Celtics. And they look solid going into next year, but they didn't improve as much as us. But the Sixers, man, I'm kind of scared of them. If they weren't playoff frauds, they might actually give us problems, but... Y'all, y'all, y'all see the Sixers in the playoffs, man. It's unfortunate. Every year, they fizzle out at just the worst times. Carmelo Anthony is the MVP this season, man. Carmelo Anthony, just the mid-range buckets, the isos. Bro, could you imagine Melo on a team with Bron and Chris Paul, D-Wade? Do you think he would swing the rock? Prime Melo, is he swinging the rocks to those guys? There was that one game where he had like 62 points and no assists and like, I feel him. He's got the Michael Porter Jr. mentality, the Michael swing the rock Porter mentality. He's ready to shoot that ball. If any of my guys are watching this video, y'all y'all say I play like Michael Porter Jr., but like, I just enjoy getting buckets, man. Why pass when the rim's always open? The series is tied up at 3-3 three to three against the Phoenix Suns. They're the eighth seed, by the way, but unfortunately, Kevin Durr's super team just Durr can't win this game. I'm sorry, bro, but, but Kevin Durr can't. He loses this one. We're going to go ahead and pack him up. Doesn't feel good when Bron's on the super team, does it, KD? Only 20 points. Man, that's tough 
And it, it, he says he considers himself to be a loyal person. Yeah, all right, KD. All right, KD. We'll see about that, man. <laughs> we'll see about that. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's get into the second round. We're going to move on. Look at Melo, man. He's hooping throughout this first round. We got the Houston Rockets, and this team just doesn't scare me at all. They're a young team. They're not ready for prime time. We go ahead and we beat them in five. The Grizzlies, speaking of another young team, they're not fine in the West. They've already proved this before. Get them out of here. We win. Now we've got Paul Pierce and the Boston Celtics. They also have Anthony Davis. I wanted to put AD on there just so, like, Bron and AD could have, like, a little rivalry or something. I don't know, man. I'm trying to make storylines in a virtual basketball game. It's really not that deep, bro. But we're going to go ahead and actually have a competitive game with the Celtics. Ultimately, this one comes down to the wire. And unfortunately, we go ahead and we lose by 10 points. Carmelo Anthony with the 40 ball. It seems like he really comes out in game ones of these finals and really tries to set the tone. We saw that last year when he dropped 43. And now going into game two, we really don't want to go down 2-0. to zero. That puts you in a pretty unfortunate spot. And it looks like in the fourth, we are not ready to do that. We go ahead and we get the dub, pulling it out in the clutch. And Carmelo Anthony with, you know, it, it was a game for sure. But we were able to get the dub. Shout out to the guys, you know. Now let's get to this game three. With series tied up 1-1. This is a big one. This can swing the momentum of the series. And... We're going to take the big game, man. It seems like our team always shows up in these important moments. And, I mean, why wouldn't they? Look at the squad we have. One of these guys are bound to show up in the in these big games. And Clay Thompson is on their roster? That's kind of crazy. Game 6, Clay. We're ready for him. If the Celtics can even make it to Game 6. They got DeRozan, too? They got Mr. If I Shoot It, It Goes In? That's crazy. And they make the series 3-2. But, ultimately, we beat them in 6. So, game Game six clay looks like it wasn't happening as we're moving on to the nba finals no we're not we're moving on to free agency bro the season's over my bad it's a little late you know it's halftime of the lakers game it might low-key be past my bedtime i'm trying to get some sleep but but i gotta watch Bron get buckets so after i upload this video it's back to watching Bron. And the Celtics actually lost out on some of their guys in free agency. So it looks like we might have a cakewalk to this ring, which, you know, a Mickey Mouse ring, nothing new for a guy like LeBron. <laughs> My bad, I lost it, bro. Like, I, I know it's so corny to laugh at your own jokes, but that one really had me cackling and chuckling in here, bro, because that, that was kind of funny. Yeah, that was a real knee slapper. But the Celtics got the Hornets in the first round. That Celtics team's low-key depleted at this point. And that Hornets team, you got Rudy Gobert running the forest raps, bro. I know y'all brought back Malik Bunk, thinking that might save the team. But trust me, it's not going to. You got Rudy Gobert running the four. The spacing's about to be atrocious, abysmal, catastrophic. Catastrophic. We're going to go ahead and rematch the Phoenix Suns. Uh, yeah, I don't know how this team keeps giving us comp. Like, I don't know how they're the eighth seed in the first place, but like, because they're the eighth seed, they should suck, but they don't. It's like the Miami Heat. They were the eighth seed, barely got out the playing game, needed a Max Struess masterclass to go ahead and beat, who was it, the Chicago Bulls? Yeah, because DeMar's daughter was like yelling in Toronto off the free throws and stuff, and then they advanced and all that. But yeah, they needed a Max Struess masterclass to advance to the playoffs, and boom, now they're a win away from the finals. This wild, man. But we got the Warriors here, and they were actually giving us problems early on, but ultimately we're able to get out of there in six. Now we got the Oklahoma City Thunder, and while I should be scared of this team, I'm really not. Let's go ahead and get them out of here. We're moving on to the NBA Finals. We got Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, Evan Mobley, and the Cleveland Cavaliers. This team is really nice, so it does look like we're going to have some comp here in the NBA Finals. In game number one, we want to set the tone. We want to see another one of those mellow master classes to get it started, and it looks like we're going to set the tone with a huge dub. Mello drops a triple-double coming up big for us in this game. But unfortunately, it looks like that triple-double didn't have many points. 5 for 19 is crazy, Mello, but we'll give you a pass. Just keep shooting it, man. The rim's always open. You got to have my type of mentality, apparently. According to my guys, I'm Michael Porter. Never swing the rock. Bro, 
I promise you, sometimes, occasionally, I swing the rock. Like, I, I don't know, man. Like, I definitely pass the ball here or there when I feel like it. But sometimes, you know, you just got to get a bucket. And that game, or, or miss, but, you know, the rim's still open regardless. Anyways, we go ahead and we lose to the Cleveland Cavaliers in game two. It was a close one. I probably should have hopped into it. My bad. I'm an L YouTuber. But, you know, I try my best. Subscribe for more mediocre content. <laughs> Yo, what am I talking about? But we're able to come up big in the clutch, 125-123. And also, let me know in the comments section, what do you think of the videos? Is there anything that you'd like to see in the future in terms of like video ideas? Or would you like to see longer videos? Would you like to see shorter videos with less of me like talking about all this random stuff about uh, I don't pass the ball and all that? But, you know, for now, we got a close one here. So let's go ahead and let's jump into it. 108, 111. Mello, come on. He's not swinging the rock. He missed it. And, oh, man, why, did he, why didn't he swing the rock? And now we're going to do the stupid foul thing. And that pretty much wraps the game. Mello, bro. That was a really rough look there. And the series is going to be wrapped up at 2-2 two to two as a result of that miss. So here we go, man. Pivotal game five. And... You know, as our team does, we show up in this big game. A huge win from the Lakers and the Banana Boat crew. And Melo with 40. Look at the guys, bro. Melo, D-Wade, and Braun combined for over 100 points in a pivotal game in the series. And now in game six, we've got a chance to close it out. And W Scripps, shout out to the game. Because we're going to be able to hop into this one in a close clutch situation of three points. So we've got a decent little lead, a, a little cushion. You know, it's not a big cushion. It's like it's like one of those little throw pillows. But let's go ahead and let's get to it. Down three points, have the ball. So we just need a bucket here. Hopefully Melo can be the guy to deliver it. D-Wade has the ball up top. Can somebody give him a screen or something, please? There we go. Valanciunas sets the screen. D-Wade, three, and it's good, man. Come on, wrap it up. Give Melo his three-peat, three rings. It's pretty much over. But, you know, the Cavs, they do have Donovan Mitchell, and Donovan gets way too open. I don't know what our defense was doing, and we're now only up by three points. So it would be nice if we could respond with another bucket. Dwayne Wade has the ball once again. Can he get a screen, please? Come on, Valanciunas. Set it up. There he goes. Valanciunas with the screen. He's diving to the basket. Gets an easy look. He misses it, but he gets the rebound. And one. Oh, my goodness. The Valanciunas and one. Y'all don't even need to see anymore. It's wraps. Carmelo Anthony wins his three-peat, and the Lakers are champions once again. The Banana Boat crew reigns supreme. That, that was a fire little tagline. The Banana Boat crew reigns supreme. I was kind of cooking with that one but we do go ahead and we win this championship darvin ham lifts up the trophy Bron, d wade chris paul the banana boat super team wins an nba championship Bron lifts the finals mvp trophy and in this pivotal game six where we were able to close out the series carmelo anthony dropped 19 points on only 11 shots Good stats for the playoffs. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.